By now, we're aware that Wolverine is preparing to don a yellow suit in Deadpool 3. But what lies ahead for our Logan legacy in the current MCU? Will we witness another Logan movie? To unravel these mysteries, you'll need to stay tuned. Let's rewind and reflect on Wolverine's journey, considering how things concluded for him, and anticipate how Deadpool 3 will weave it all together. Hugh Jackman portrayed the iconic mutant in nine X-Men movies, and after enduring various trials, Logan sought a well-deserved happy ending. The X-Men series depicted Logan's struggles with memory loss and the haunting consequences of his actions, especially concerning Jean Grey. In Logan, he lived in isolation with Caliban and the ailing Charles Xavier, witnessing the demise of mutants. While finding a moment of peace, Logan's ultimate fate wasn't a joyous one. Wolverine's story lacked a genuinely happy conclusion, and his death, while a relief to some from involuntary immortality, left much to be desired. His revival in Deadpool 3 offers a chance for a new beginning, allowing Wolverine to learn from past mistakes and shape a brighter future. If speculations about a different Wolverine version in Deadpool 3 prove true, the MCU can explore a distinct narrative without undermining the events in Logan. This approach would satisfy Wolverine fans by providing them with the best of both worlds. Wolverine's optimal conclusion doesn't involve his demise. His return in Deadpool 3 presents an opportunity for a new beginning, featuring an authentic, comic-inspired costume, interactions with Deadpool, and integration into Marvel's extensive hero lineup. Deadpool 3 marks a fresh start for Wolverine, suggesting that death doesn't have to be his ultimate fate. Instead of seeking an escape from immortality, this iteration of Wolverine could embark on a quest to give purpose to his eternal life. With access to the multiverse, Wolverine might discover a path to happiness, a pursuit that consistently eluded him in previous live-action portrayals. Speculations about Wolverine's role in Avengers' Secret Wars hint at a substantial part, paving the way for ongoing multiversal narratives in the MCU. With this expansive multiverse, Wolverine could find a reality where his loved ones, such as Jean Grey, Professor X, and Cyclops, are alive. Liberated from the torment of witnessing friends' deaths, Wolverine could conclude his journey in a universe where he finally achieves everything he desires, akin to the ending in X-Men Days of Future Past. Unburdened by haunting memories, Wolverine could settle down, enjoying a lengthy and contented life surrounded by the family he held dear. While the conclusion of Logan's story serves a specific aspect of Wolverine's journey, it lacks the joyous ending earned through his unwavering heroism. Deadpool 3 and upcoming MCU ventures offer the potential for a new, genuinely happy resolution, one where Wolverine discovers happiness for the first time in his enduring and painful life. The return of Wolverine also hints at the possible resurgence of another clawed mutant, X-23, setting the stage for a potential Logan 2. Daphne Keene's exceptional portrayal in the 2017 film received widespread acclaim, showcasing a perfect blend of stoic badassery and innocent vulnerability. Fans have eagerly anticipated her return to the role, and the idea of X-23 making a comeback would undoubtedly be met with enthusiasm. Introducing X-23 to the film and the broader Marvel Cinematic Universe could be facilitated through various avenues, especially with the MCU embracing concepts like time travel and alternate dimensions. Given the X-Men film's history of playing with timelines, the introduction of a grown-up X-23 alongside a younger Wolverine wouldn't be too surprising, though potentially perplexing. While details about the new film are limited, Hugh Jackman's confirmation that Deadpool 3 predates Logan's tragic events suggests a younger and more prime Wolverine. This opens up possibilities, such as Logan discovering Al Kali's experiments and encountering a girl in the process. X-23's role in the upcoming film could vary from a brief appearance to a significant part of the storyline. It might include scenes within a facility hinting at Laura's origins, casual mentions by characters, or Deadpool's humorous take on Logan having a child. The inclusion of Laura in the evolving Marvel landscape would be a welcomed addition, given her popularity in the comics and Daphne Keene's impactful portrayal in Logan. It could signify future developments for X-23, 
ensuring her continued relevance. Furthermore, it provides Logan with an opportunity to establish a connection with his clone daughter, especially considering the inevitability that Hugh Jackman may not play the role forever. Amidst recent developments in Marvel's search for writers for their first X-Men movie, rumors circulated that Hugh Jackman's Wolverine would not be part of the mutant team, deviating from the usual approach. However, this decision appears to be a strategic move as part of a larger plan for the actor and his superhero alter ego. What's even more intriguing is the latest rumor suggesting that Wolverine, also known as Logan, will receive a solo movie dedicated to his character within the MCU before joining the ensemble X-Men movie. Despite initial disappointment among fans regarding Wolverine's absence from the team, there seems to be a deliberate strategy behind Marvel's approach. According to a report from Cosmic Book News, the studio intends to pave the way for a standalone Wolverine film featuring Hugh Jackman. This solo venture is anticipated to unfold before integrating Wolverine into future X-Men films. Marvel has consistently hinted at significant plans for the character, with past speculations indicating Wolverine's crucial role in the upcoming Avengers Secret Wars. While the decision to delay Wolverine's introduction to the X-Men might have initially unsettled fans, the reported solo movie signals that Marvel has intricate and expansive plans in store for the iconic character within the broader MCU narrative. The clash between Wolverine and Deadpool, both possessing potent regenerative healing factors, promises an exhilarating and perhaps comically violent showdown. Their mutant abilities set the stage for an intense face-off, raising anticipation for the dynamic interplay between these historically visceral characters. Beyond the individual character dynamics, Deadpool 3's R rating benefits the broader introduction of the X-Men to the MCU. By showcasing the potentially threatening nature of mutants, it allows audiences to reacquaint themselves with the formidable power these characters wield. Even if subsequent X-Men projects adopt a PG-13 approach, Deadpool 3 establishes a precedent, emphasizing the distinct and potentially overwhelming capabilities of the mutant team. Let's talk about the story of Logan and find out where all the other X-Men are. The movie happens in a future where mutants are almost gone and we wonder what happened to the X-Men who fought with Wolverine before. In Logan, the tale unfolds in a future where mutants are nearly extinct and we're unsure about what happened to the X-Men, the earlier heroes. The film is a bit sad, showing Wolverine, the hero with metal claws, near the end of his journey, thinking about retiring. Everything changes when his cloned daughter, Laura, asks for his help, giving him hope for mutants' future. The movie suggests there was a tragic event off-screen that nearly wiped out the X-Men, making us question the hope for mutant kind's future. Before Disney took over 20th Century Fox, there were more X-Men movies like Deadpool 2, Dark Phoenix, and The New Mutants. But Logan is the last one in the timeline, giving a somewhat sad conclusion. In the story, Dr. Xander Rice, who works for Alkali Transigen, tries to get rid of mutants by spreading a virus through genetically modified food. The virus, hidden in everyday stuff, kills mutants, and Rice plans to make new controlled mutants as weapons. Charles Xavier accidentally kills the remaining X-Men during a telepathic seizure known as the Westchester Incident. Logan doesn't tell us exactly what happened to the X-Men, but it hints that they might have died because of Rice's plan and Xavier's seizure. The movie focuses more on Logan's personal journey instead of directly talking about the X-Men's deaths. And that's that for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Your suggestions for future videos are always welcome in the comments below.